RNA binding protein immunoprecipitation. Principle and protocol. Produced by Creative Biomart. Part 1. Introduction. Why? RNA is unstable and needs to be bound to a specific RNA binding protein. Dynamic association between RNA and RNA binding proteins accompanies the entire life cycle. How? RNA binding protein immunoprecipitation, RIP, based on RNA binding proteins to isolate or discover functional RNA molecules is a common research method for RNA research. Definition RIPSA utilizes antibodies against target protein to precipitate the corresponding RNA protein complexes. The RNA bound to the complex can be validated by qPCR or sequencing analysis after isolation and purification. The goal is to study the combination of RNA and protein in cells. Understand the dynamic process of post-transcriptional regulation of the network. Help to discover the regulatory targets of MRNAs. Part 2. Workflow. First of all, mRNP lysate from culture cell is prepared. And then prepare the antibody-coated protein A or G beads. Secondly, the RNP undergoes immunoprecipitation reaction and thus RNA is precipitated. Finally, the precipitated RNA is isolated. And applied to further analysis like microarray, real-time PCR, and sequencing. RBP represents RNA binding protein. RNP represents ribonucleoprotein complex. Part 3. Buffer Reagent. Polysome lysis buffer consists of potassium chloride, magnesium chloride, 4,2-hydroxyethyl-1-piperzine ethanesulfonic acid, NP40. Didiothrectal, ribonuclease out, and VRC protease inhibitor cocktail. NT2 buffer includes trishydroxymethylaminomethane hydrochloride, sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, and IGEPL. Part 4. Procedure of RIP. Step 1. Preparation of mRNP lysate. Step 2. Antibody coating of protein AG beads. Step 3. Immunoprecipitation reaction and RNA precipitation. 4.1 Preparation of mRNP lysate. Firstly collect enough tissue culture cells to generate total protein. Secondly, pellet by centrifugation for 10 minutes at 4 centigrade. Thirdly, wash several times with ice cold phosphate buffered saline, PBS, in a conical tube. Note The total amount of protein used per RIP must be optimized based upon the abundance of the RNA binding protein being investigated and the plan method of RNA detection. Fourthly, Resuspend cell pellet with polysome lysis buffer supplemented with ribonuclease inhibitors and protease inhibitors. Fifthly, break cell clumps by pipetting up and down several times. Sixthly, incubate mRNP lysate on ice for 5 minutes and store at minus 80 centigrade. Note, immediate freezing of the lysate is essential to complete the lysis process and prevent adventitious binding. Additional freeze-thaw cycles should be avoided to prevent protein and RNA degradation. Four point two antibody coating of protein AG beads. Seventhly, at four centigrade, pre swell protein A slash G sephiros beads in NT two are supplemented with BSA before use. Eighthly, add protein A BSA slurry to yield the pelleted bead after a pulse centrifugation. Ninthly, add antibody to bead slurry and incubate for a few hours, tumbling end over end at four centigrade. Note in parallel, a control antibody must be used to assess background RNA levels. Tenthly immediately before use, wash antibody-coated beads with ice-cold NT2 buffer to remove unbound antibody and contaminants. Eleventhly resuspend beads in ice-cold NT2 buffer.
4.3 Immunoprecipitation Reaction and RNA Precipitation 12thly add cleared lysate to antibody mixture prepared in step 11. 13thly flick tube to mix and centrifuge briefly to pellet beads. Remove supernatant to obtain total cellular mRNA. 14thly incubate for 4 hours at 4 centigrade tumbling and over end or incubate 2 hours at room temperature. 15thly pellet beads and save supernatant for later analysis if desired. Sixteenthly wash beads with ice-cold NT2 buffer by pulsing in an ultra-centrifuge and removing supernatant with a hand pipette or an aspirator. Seventhly resuspend the beads NT2 buffer and incubate mixture for 30 minutes at 55 centigrade, flicking the tube occasionally using a finger. Eighteenthly, adding either trisol reagent or phenol chloroform isoamyl alcohol directly to the beads to release the RNP components and isolate the RNA form the immunoprecipitated pellet. 4.4 Analysis The isolated RNA can be submitted to subsequent analysis such as microarray, qPCR, real-time PCR, sequencing. If you have any questions about biological experimental protocol or you want to know more information about biological knowledge, please contact us by email or log in our website for more detailed information. Thanks for your attention.